Did you grow up with both parents? I did. That's the problem. Let's run it again. My name is Ruben Rubenstein. I'm from Forest Hill, Queens. And I'm a volunteer basketball coach. Let's go, drive. Oh, no, guys, you're not going to make it out of the hood with that jump shot. Do it for your baby mama. What, you don't love her? This counts as my community service. Courts let me off easy. I love coaching these kids. We're like family. Ah, I don't have any money. Oh, Omar. A lot of these kids are involved with criminals. My father's a federal district attorney. From impoverished areas in Brooklyn. My family bought their house in Dumbo for five mil. It's tough. I don't bring any valuables with me when I come out here to coach. One of these kids told me he was studying to be a drug dealer. I'm studying to be a clinical pharmaceutical scientist. How many baby mamas you got? None, coach. You want to go to college? Yes. You got to have at least two. They'll inspire you. Jump higher. Run fast. I want to inspire these kids to be something so that they know there's more out there. Because it's not a lot. I think I can borrow a couple dollars to get on the train. Yeah, I bought my Tesla. You do what? Tesla you can't be carjacking people out here. Come on, coach. They don't got much going for them. They live horrible, horrible lives. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, the super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Thank you. Thank you. You're far too kind. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor Faith Horn. Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? I don't know who is Joe Biden's handler is. Maybe it's Jill. Dr. Jill. But somebody needs to tell him stop eating ice cream out in public. It is starting to be like, ugh. You know, seeing an old man eating ice cream. Jesus Christ. Every time they ask him a tough question or he's in a situation, he's ice cream. That's just like, ugh, what is that? The president yes. of the United States answered a very serious questions about <laughs> Israel, for example, while licking Holding an ice cream cone. And yeah. ice, I know. I was, yeah. I was like, it's melting. This is weird. But, <laughs> but he got asked the question. He answered the question. Uh, it was really strange. Yeah, really strange. <laughs> He's on Seth Meyers' show because we know Seth Meyers' a deep thinking show, late night, and um, of course they have to ask some easy questions, softball questions. They prepped him up. They gave him all his, his medicine. They made sure he had a, a full 12 hours sleep. They gave him his medicine. They turned the lights down low, make sure he don't get triggered. And let's take a listen at the interview. Right, according to recent polling, this is a real concern for American voters. How do you address that concern going forward as you come up to the 2024 election? Well, a couple things. Number one, you got to take a look at the other guy. He's about as old as I am, but he can't remember his wife's name. Yeah. And, uh, number one. Number two, <laughs> it's about how old your ideas are. Look, I mean, this is a guy who wants to take us back. He wants to take us back on Roe v. Wade. He wants to take us back on a whole range of issues that are 50, 60 years. They've been solid American positions. And, um, and I really mean this sincerely. The, uh, I think it's about, about the future. And everything, every single thing we've done, I think we've got some good things done. Everything, and we, they told us we couldn't get them done. Like what, Biden? What? What have you accomplished? Inflation? Mass immigration? What have you accomplished? What is this? And the longer he talks, you can start seeing the train start to derail. Let's go. Because things were so divided. And, uh, but I think everything, everything we've gotten done, he's just friendly stated he wants to do away with if he gets elected. And I really think his views on where to take America are older than... Anyway, I don't want to get caught. <laughs> you see that he couldn't even deliver the line. As old as what, Biden? Finish the sentence, Biden. You couldn't even do that. You couldn't even talk for 30 seconds without falling off the track, sir. <laughs> well, me. You know, when I imitate Biden, because he can't find his way off the stage, as you all know, he makes a speech that lasts usually about a minute and a half because the octane starts to wear off at a quick rate. You ever notice he starts off strong? Within about two minutes, he can't talk anymore. 
And then he walks off. You ever notice he always goes like this? <laughs> what? <laughs> the Democrats love talking about ageism. And we keep saying it's not about his age. It's about his mental capacity and his physical capacity. New York Times published an article called The Complicated Reality of Being America's Oldest President, which included Biden's recent fall at the Air Force Academy's graduation. I, I guess my question is, if he's doing his job, if he's getting stuff done, what's the problem? Yeah, people fall down. I believe he tripped. But, you know, I'm, I'm just... Didn't he reply I, I, something like I, I was sandbagged? Like, yeah, it was he was a sandbag very funny about it. On? Yeah. But what is, what is this obsession? People are just, I mean, I've known old people all my life. And I've never seen this kind of obsession with, you know, people being old and what the, what the hell? What the hell? Because everybody's getting there. So, so, yeah. Here. And we're not talking about his age per se. But once the Democrats kick Biden off the team. They're going to say, okay, look, we admit it. Biden's too old. We want him off the ticket. Now, Trump is old too, and we want him off the ticket too. No. Trump is not mentally demented like Biden is. See, this is a little trick they're going to try to pull on us. Oh, we're going to take our man off. The, we're going to take this 80 year old man off. So take off your 80 year old man off too. No, no, no. We're talking about mental capacity president thank you thank you thank you very oh, much I appreciate it's great to have you it's thank you thank, have you. you thank you don't go anywhere it's a very exciting day around here um we'll have reaction and analysis well anyway that's my thoughts for the day if you guys got any value out of my content do me a favor hit the like hit that subscribe you see that notification bell turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest share this content with your best friends and tell your mama i said hi all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you old men, get off my lawn.